is a real underwater drone and we're gonna use it to find animatronics. I can't believe my eyes. We have to go under the water. Hello, my dear viewers and my favorite subscribers. My name is Lav and today I'm going to show you something special. Here, you're welcome to the frozen wasteland. But I got some special equipment behind my back. Actually, I have a lot of sp a lot of special equipment because in my previous video, which you can watch using that hint, we saw a very strange thing, and it looks like animatronics. They seem to be angry and so on. All this stuff somehow connected. So today I brought with me an underwater drone. Yeah, that's a real drone that can live under the water. It has a very powerful lights and cameras. Moreover, I have several of these drones and they are very powerful, but this one is the big one. I really like that thing because it has a claw right here and this drone is very powerful and very <coughs> strong. Today I'm going to use them to get under the ice and see what exactly happened here to understand where are these animatronics. We only saw the parts that were on their eyes but I want to see using the drones what's going on under the ice. And this thing is very powerful because we can pick the things from under the water and bring them here on the up water. <laughs> I mean here on the ice. Where with the help of that thing we found some valuable stuff. So feel free to watch it because today we are not searching for valuable things. We are searching for animatronics under the ice. If I'm not mistaken, we found uh, animatronics parts somewhere over here. So let me remove the upper layers of the snow and we can look at ice. We have to prepare the area where we're going to work because you know it's not as easy as it looks like to get under the ice, especially with underwater drone. Look. Good. So that seems to be a nice. Yes. This is an ice and now we need another tool. This is my special underwater chainsaw. <laughs> it can work uh, for sewing the ice. So we're gonna add some fuel on it in it. Yeah, that's good. So now we got to run it. One, two, three. Then put that thing here, and that thing goes here. Good, good, good. Now we're going doing like that, then like this. It's very difficult actually to run the the cheap chain. So, so if you want to help us and if you want to support our channel, please, you're welcome to give us super thanks because it's very important. I really appreciate any type of support, and I want to say. Special thanks to this subscriber. He is one of my favorite now. You also can become my favorite subscriber if you if you will send me a little bit of super thanks. So <laughs> all your super thanks I will spend on a new chain. So oh, it's working. Come on. Ah, go. On. So, when my hole in the ice is ready, uh, it's time to prepare the drones. First, I'm gonna use that one, the small one, because, uh, you know, it's super cold right now. It uh, minus uh, 25 degrees below zero Celsius uh, underwater. Uh, here we have minus 60 degrees Celsius. It's super cold here. 
So you are welcome to write down where from you watching this video and what is the weather like. But don't forget to leave your likes and subscribe to my channel because we are producing videos every day. Yeah, on Slavs Adventures you may find daily videos and it's not super easy <laughs> to make them, but we are making them for you. So now we need to prepare the drone. It's pretty easy actually. Uh, you can connect the drone, underwater drone, with the help of several things. For example, the big one has this remote control, but I don't need it right now because I have my mobile phone. We can easily, uh, easily use that one uh, thing. You just need to connect the, um, it's like antenna, it's a Wi-Fi antenna, Wi-Fi connector, and we connect it like that, and everything starts to working automatically. I'm gonna use that one because this one is smaller, and uh, we need to first find the finds and the things, and uh, after that, we are going to use the big drone, maybe. I'm not sure. It depends on the weather and it depends if we will find something. So, I think enough talking. Let's get back to my hole and put it down. So, now our drone is underwater. It's gone under the water. Let me try to connect and see what's going on there. That's good. We are receiving the picture and now we have to start searching for the animatronics because uh, you know what, I'm not at exact point where I saw this animatronics part in my previous video. So I have to uh, swim under the ice everywhere to find something suspicious. So let me start. At this point and I still can see anything. I'm controlling the drone remotely and I'm trying to see if there is anything suspicious. And let's go there. Hey, wait, I saw something. Let's get back. Okay, yeah, that's it. What is that? It, it looks like a whole animatronic. Yeah, guys, just look at it. It looks like a whole body of the animatronic. It's, it's, if I'm not mistaken, it's, it looks like a, a, a bird, a chicken. It doesn't look like a spring trap or Freddy. I don't remember its name. Maybe you know how called this exact animatronic. If yes, feel free to write down your comments. And let's see, but this animatronic doesn't look damaged. It looks like okay, okay condition, but it's not working. It's not moving. This thing looks like dead. Maybe, maybe uh, this animatronic has gone under the water and it's not working because of the low battery level. It's super cold here and uh, my cell phone is getting low battery and of course my underwater drone getting low battery and that's why we have to hurry up we found the point where animatronics are located so we have to keep searching we have to keep searching everywhere to find if there is anything else but we already found something so let's keep going now we are swimming and it looks like uh, just a regular bottom but it's i can see anything because of the sand or maybe because of the dirt that is in the water we have to keep moving we have to be very careful because it's very difficult uh, to see anything through this underwater smoke <laughs> i don't know how it... <gasps> wait what is that that's another that's another animatronic uh, let's come closer and see because I'm sure I'm 100% sure that's an it's another animatronic it's it has big ears and the gray color <gasps> that's a spring trap yes guys that's a spring trap but 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 why is it underwater oh my gosh oh my gosh how is this possible 
I saw this spring trap recently. In this video, you can watch that hint to watch the full video when I saw a spring trap in the forest there. In that forest, yeah, I saw him not far from here in real life, guys. But now it's under the ice. Maybe it has fallen under the ice and now it's there. He was walking here on the ice because uh, ice is kind of cracking. It's super dangerous actually. And we are making videos in a dangerous condition, especially for you. And we hope that you will subscribe to our channel. But guys, I think if spring trap now is under the water and under the ice, I can visit him. I can get down using my scuba diving suit and power it off completely. Maybe I can destroy the spring trap completely because he is super powerful and he is super strong uh, here. Uh, not under the ice, but here on the earth, uh, on the coast. So. I think I have to go under the water using my diving suit, using my scuba diving suit like I used in my previous videos. You can use that hint to watch this full video when I was uh, looking for, searching for Choo Choo Charles under the ice and I found some parts of it and I found some suspicious thing. So maybe right now I have to do the same thing. But I want to get 5,000 likes under this video to get under the ice and to meet the spring trap there under the ice. Now everything depends on you, but my drone is getting low battery. I have to hurry up to find more things. So let's keep searching. Let's keep diving. Now we are searching the bottom of this frozen wasteland. Who can even imagine what we could find here? Hey, wait, there was something. There was something like, looks like a paw. Stop, stop. That's another animatronic. And yeah, that looks like a, a bear, a bear. I think that's Freddy Fazbear. That's Freddy Fazbear, yeah. Uh, and the, this animatronic, animatronic lies not far from the spring trap and that's that's crazy that's super crazy because i also saw freddy recently some time ago in this hint you can use that hint to watch my full video when i saw freddy in the same forest when where i saw the the, the, the spring trap and now they both under the water. Oh my gosh, I have to go down by myself using diving suit. It's very difficult adventure, it's very dangerous. That's why you may bring me uh, 5,000 likes under this video. Subscribe to my channel and write down the comments that you also want to see what is going on there under the ice in the frozen wasteland. And guys, uh, believe me, Believe me, what we can find using underwater drone is just a small part of what's going on for real under the water here in a frozen wasteland. It's super strange things. So let's keep searching, let's keep watching. Ah, okay, uh, I think I lost it. Uh, never mind, we found three animatronics already here, so that just proves everything. Uh, that there was some kind of animatronic fight, battle or something like that. So let's keep going. So, my drone battery is... Uh, is getting low, it's almost died, unfortunately. I don't have much time left. So now we have to keep searching. Let's look here. Here I can see anything. Maybe something is there. No, nothing. Hey, wait, wait. Uh, this underwater smoke makes everything makes everything difficult. But I I have seen something red. Huh. Yeah, that's something red. Maybe, maybe that's another animatronic. Yeah, that's a hook. Hook, the real hook. That's an animatronic with the hook. 
it looks really strange it looks like a fox but i don't know that animatronic i don't know its name and i don't know why it has a cook maybe you know if yes feel free to write down your comments about that okay let's come closer and come coming closer to watch this animatronic more accurately and wait what is going on no 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 my drone has died the battery turned off my drone we got to get it out of water oh my gosh this drone feels so bad because it's super ho hard to work in conditions like that and guys this thing is very expensive and no you know what i'm really afraid that if we will use it right now to get some parts or maybe the whole animatronics right now we just can lose this drone i think it's better to get down underwater using a diving scuba diving suit it's much better because you know i'm not gonna die underwater i think so uh, but this drone can could die so if you want to see the continue of that video if you want to know more about animatronics underwater or in a frozen wasteland feel free to write down your comments subscribe to my channel uh, i really appreciate any type of your support but especially i appreciate super thanks support <laughs> my name is slav thanks for watching and bye bye